A stack of inspiration, a cup of motivation, a side of excellence with just a dash of extraordinary, and bring me an order of blessings with the plate of satisfaction, followed by a bowl of laughter with just a sprinkle of some personality. Better than that, just give me the lady t shirt. T, 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 T. Lay D Lay D T T T T Lay D T T T Lay D T Lady T is on your TV Call everyone you know It's time for the Lady T show Don't you turn the TV Now let me hear my Lady T fans Lady T, Lady T, Lady T, Lady T fans, yeah Lady T, Lady T, Now let me hear my Lady T fans Lady T, Lady T, Lady T Yeah, 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 yeah It's time for the Lady T show Alright, cut it's a wrap. Cut. Cut. Stop. Hello and welcome to the Lady T Show. I'm your host, Lady T, and I'm joined by my co-host. Hello, everybody. This is so like it's been a while. I know. <laughs> has it has it, this is what it's been a while time. for me. Because I missed the last couple of shows. Second Sunday. Sunday. So we were here fourth Sunday, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And we had, had a fifth, fifth Sunday. Sunday. So every yeah. time we have a fifth Sunday, it just feels like we've been away for so very long. But we're going to get right into our show tonight because we have something very exciting to tell you all about. So we want to give you time to call all of your family members, call all of your friends, tell them to tune in to the Lady T Show. If you do not have Suddenly... If they don't have Suddenly, they can watch us online at www.whigtv.com. Now, later on, we're going to be giving away something as well. We're going to do Lady T's famous tune times, sister's favorite, absolute favorite thing to do. So we're going to. She do don't even give you time to give a thought to I what's do, playing. I do, no, you don't. That defeats the purpose a if I play the whole second, song. A second. <laughs> So you, you, I think, I think people will be able to get this one because I'm giving a little bit more time, okay. and I'm doing it just for you. An extra second. Yes, <laughs> just for you, just for you. So don't you don't want to miss it. Um, again, want you to call everybody that you know because we have an exciting program coming to our area. So I'm gonna let my guests tell you about that. Seated to my right is Miss Rashida Smith. Hey. <laughs> and Miss Joanne Perkins. Hi. And they're going to tell you about the, the event they have going on now. Now, Ms. Perkins, I have to say, there's a, a lady at our church named Joanne Perkins. And I texted her yesterday and I said, are you straight? You got everything you need for the show? Because I thought it was her. I'm like, wow, Joanne Perkins is going to be there? I didn't know she was affiliated. So I'm texting her and she's like, huh? I said, the show tomorrow, you, 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 this is exciting. You're going to be on the show? She said, I have no idea what you're talking about. So she's probably going to be tuning in because she wants to see what you look like. Your names are spelled the same. And you even, she even resembles Famous her. You favor mm -hmm. her. So you never know. We might have, have a, a DNA test going here <laughs> after a while. <laughs> so um, Rashida and Joanne, they're going to talk about their event that they have coming up. But before we get to the wonderful event, we want to talk about the name of you all's organization. So what is, what is the name of this nonprofit organization that's up and coming? Uh, the name of our organization is Equality for All Redemption House Incorporation. 
and we we stand about like helping um, disabled, mentally challenged people. Wow! And we trying to get housing. Twenty four hour service for that's them, awesome. Actually. Okay. So and and I have to say you have to really have a talent and an anointing, I should say, to work with disabled people. Exactly. So both of you have experience in that area? Yes. Yes. Okay. And twenty four hour service. Yes, twenty four hours. That's awesome. I think there's a there's a blessing even with taking out time yeah. to, to help disabled people. And when we say disabled, what type of disabilities are we talking about? They could have physical mm -hmm. or mental disabilities. Mm -hmm. We're not going to discriminate because it says we're a quality for equal for all. Okay. So we're not discriminating. If someone has um, physical disabilities, they'll be able to stay at the home. If they have mental, if they're on medication, you know, some of us <coughs> have washed out mental illness for so long, but it's right. for real. Yes. So we will take care of those needs too. Okay, wonderful. So now what makes um, your organization different from just, because um, there's like, um, I call them activity centers, mm -hmm. just somewhere for the mentally oh, ill the to go. Yeah, the adult daycare, yeah, the the adult adult daycare, daycare to go to during the day. What's, what's the difference or similarity that you guys, that you mentioned 24 is, hours? Because we, it's sort of, sort of like a, I don't call it a group home, but that's what they call them, assistant living. Mm -hmm. We will be able to assist them. So if you got a disability and you need taken care of, okay. we'll take care of you that way. Dress you if you have to be dressed, clothed. So they're actually living. They'll be actually mm -hmm. living in the home. Those other activities that we do, they're what we'll do in the daytime. Oh, because okay. You, they, had, they people need ways to stimulate their brains and mind too. Right. So just mm -hmm. sitting around the house looking at TV all day is not going to do, do it. Right. So you all are often it's around the clock. Mm -hmm. That's good. So most of the time, from like eight to four, they will probably do activities, can mm -hmm. go places. That's a lot of things that people with disabilities can do with that, just sitting in the house looking at the four wall. Wow. So now That's do awesome. you all offer programs as well? Because um, I'm familiar with the adult daycare where they take um, the mentally challenged individuals and um, kind of release them back to the workforce where they can work a couple of hours to just have their independence there. Yes. And this Once we get it open, mm -hmm. we're going to try to, we're going to try to help the whole man, not just part of the man. That's we're going to help the whole man. Okay. Because some people, can go out and work a few hours a day and do things to help motivate. That's help stimulate their right. brain and mind. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's awesome. So what what is the mission of is, this is called Redemption House, right? Mm -hmm. Equality for all Redemption House. So we want you all to take this in what we're telling you because some of you out there may have disabled uh, friends or family members mentally or physically so this as they stay in um I'm sorry to cut across mm -hmm. you, Lady T, but uh, when, when I think of it as we're talking, it's really not that many organizations or businesses like this, right? like this to um, exactly. kind of assist. And it's, mm -hmm. it's really sad in a way mm -hmm. because you have some that are mentally ill. Um, you got um, mental health. They right. can't um, get the business or the help that they need there because the funds are low right. mm -hmm. um, state-wise. Right. And this that. is what you all are trying to do. You're trying to get funds together mm -hmm. and that's to good. get this developed. So if you all have that's any good. mentally disabled or physically disabled mm -hmm. individuals, we want you to get in contact with us. You can call in. We're going to leave the number to the station up here on the screen just for a little while. And then we're going to give you the, to, the number to the Equality for All Redemption House so that you can get in contact with them as well. And I don't think we got you all's mission statement. What is the mission of your organization? Um, it's organized exclusively to do charitable nonprofit work, um, to prepare individuals with developmental and mental disabilities to lead self efficient lives. So mm -hmm. we're trying to help them live by providing physical, emotional, and spiritual care. Mm -hmm. You know, that spiritual is a lot. People don't believe it, but spiritual is a lot caring, promoting the highest level of independence and self work by providing appropriate support within a loving family environment. Housing, we do, we're going to do job training, as we already said, essential day to day oper skills, employment support, substance abuse, counseling, and educational implement programs that will be available. We have people that call us already warning us. To help, they That's have awesome. people going to be placed, and we can't help them right now because our house is not ready. It's not ready. So, and even if you're watching and you can help these ladies, if you know of grants they can get or any type of funding they can get, we want you to use that number on the screen and call us. Now, I, I have to ask this question. This is in my mind. Is there an organization that you work with to kind of gauge uh, this person is 
at a level where they should be taken into the redemption house or are they do they ever get to a point where we can't take you in because you're not that bad off how do you gauge that with different or different individuals you have to go by the rules you know state of north carolina always got rules oh, you yeah. have to be governed oh, by the yeah. state of north carolina rules and that's what we'll go by and um like like she already said the funds are so low but we're hoping that with our fundraisers and things that we have, that we can help the whole man, like we said, mm -hmm. um, with grants and different things that we keep putting on our shows. And and we got a lot of things out there that we do that we'll say later on, the how we help getting our monies. And um, I feel like we're going to make it. It's mm -hmm. been a long road so far these last mm -hmm. two years. Wow. But I believe this is our year. Okay. Mm -hmm. and two, so you all have been up and running for two years. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's is that when the vision kind of manifested or... Her vision, Miss um, Melinda Johnson is the CEO. Okay. Her vision came across probably years ago, and she's been putting it on the back burner. She's going to have all these degrees. She have everything that you want to know to help get this through. And she just decided to put it in play. So she realized this was her season to, to go ahead. And, so tell me, tell me a little bit about you all. What do you do as far as the organization that you're affiliated with? Just about yourself so we can kind of get an idea of who we're looking at and sitting here talking to. <laughs> Well, as far as myself, I'm the sound engineer, so like last year when we had our gospel explosion, I did the sound, so okay. and as far as getting groups and stuff, I'm that person. So okay. That's what I do. You're the point person for that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what about you? I'm just a chairperson. I do a little bit of everything. When okay. the CEO called and said, John, I need you to go here, go do that. Mm -hmm. And if I can, I try to make it. And I feel like um, why I'm in it, because... Um, the CEO has a child that they said wouldn't make it, and the child is 20, 20? 20 years old. She'll be 21 in July. July the 4th. July the 4th. And we've been taking care of her. I started out by taking care of her daughter while she went to work for a few hours a day. So I just, I already do it. And in the daytime, I work at a day program that deal with the mentally. So I feel like um, she felt like the, what I did in the daytime and as a nursing aide, she felt like I was... Um, I was very access to her to open up her eyes and see what things we could do because it's a great need out there mm -hmm. whether we realize it or not it's bigger need than what we think and I just try to bring that to the organization to help out much as I can because I know that's a great need. Is that what inspired you to, to become a part of Redemption House? Yes. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of great need and a lot of our other board <coughs> members that are there they're like social workers and things and they they know it's a great need. Mm -hmm. And see that was going to be my next question because um Usually, I'm, I'm drawn to people, and I admire people that have um, that gift mm -hmm. to be able to acknowledge there's a need and to be able to do something about it. Not everybody can do what you all do. You got to have a heart for That's it. That's right. So that was going to be my question for um, the CEO. What what started this vision for her? Like, was an experience with, and you just say that she has a daughter mm -hmm. um, that experiences this. So, and she used to also. Um, being adopted, she used to keep adopt like kids that was in trouble. Oh, she used to be okay. like an adopted parent. Wow, years okay. ago, and she's always had kept people. Mm -hmm. They would call her all the time of mm -hmm. night, the Edgecombe County, and that's wow. how she knows so many people. This okay, is, this is something that she's been doing all her life, mm -hmm. but she sidetracked, it, got sidetracked like we all do. We it's all okay. need more money, and we went to yeah. work at Walmart. It's okay. Yeah, it's well, okay. I mean, you do what you got to do right. to help your vision come to pass. Anything you have a heart for. Exactly. And like you said, it. she had it on the back burner, mm -hmm. and now she realized it's time to move forward. And you said people have been contacting you, that's good. asking mm -hmm. you all, can you help with their loved ones? So that's awesome. 252-407-1111. Mm -hmm. Call in if you have any questions for Equality for All Redemption House workers and employees. They're here tonight talking about their organization. Mm -hmm. And this brings me to our event that we're having yes. for Equality for All, or the event that they are having. This is going to be an awesome event, you guys, and we want you to support it. Yeah, he's going to show the, the flyer, but we want you to support it. It's going to be a second annual gospel explosion, and I want you all to talk about that so that, so that we can put it out there and let them know what's going on with that. Okay, uh, um, gospel explosion will be March 11, 2017. It'll be at the um, Edgecombe Community College in Tarbor at the Kim Building Auditorium, and we we excited because we really want to have a good time, right. a blessed time. It's not about just about the money, but at the same time, it's 
it's for two cause. Right. The worship and uh -huh. to get the business started. So Okay. We're very excited. And when I saw this, you know, I love Kiki Sheer. She is one of my favorite artists and she's gonna be the special guest there, right? Yes. So you all are really this is awesome. And for you to just step out and have her come in and have these local artists come in for this event, it does show that your heart is in the right place. Mm -hmm. And you just got to keep pressing forward and doing what you have to do to help your vision come to pass. And it'll be discouraging. You know, you'll run into oh, some yeah. stumbling blocks, some roadblocks. But just if it, if you didn't, then there would be no purpose. So you, you got to have stumbling blocks and roadblocks that keeps you strong, that keeps you pressing forward and pushing forward. But the second annual, because the first annual was last year, correct? Mm -hmm, correct. Second annual Gospel Explosion sponsored by Equality for All Redemption House is going to be March 11th this year and also on this program the Golden Heirs, Glory to Glory, Genesis Mind Ministry, David Dickens and the Powell Fellows, Stop Praise Dancers, George Dickens and the Gospel Disciples, uh, Miss Nicole Luisius, uh, Nicole Cofield she's going by She's going to be there as well. Also, the Transformation and First Cosmopolitan Mail Course, MC by Miss Stephanie Lachelle Barnes. So we don't want you all to miss that event. So with you all planning this event, is it just at you all's hands, or did other people have a hand in this? How was it with planning this very big event for your organization? As far as planning the event, it was at our hands. Mm -hmm. We'll have, you know. Just you two? No, the not whole just organization. the organization. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, agree on what groups they were going to call and mm -hmm. who to get it. Rashida did the most work calling the stars. and Okay. I call them all stars because they're yeah. all stars. So she had the most in it, mm -hmm. calling the groups, getting them and seeing what they want, uh, how much they ask for, and what are we going to do. So we're hoping that be a success. Wonderful. Right. And I'm looking at the groups you have. All of these are wonderful groups. Mm -hmm. Wonderful groups, wonderful talents. And I like the way even though you have Kiara coming in, you're also highlighting people from our local community as well. Right. And that's awesome because we want to pull together and support and help one another. Celebrate with these, our own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with these um, initiatives that we're doing. So the tickets, there is a ticket price. Do you all want to give the ticket price? on air or you want them to contact you, you can <laughs> if you want to. Ticket price, adults, twenty to thirty dollars, um, kids five to twelve, fifteen. Um, at the door would be twenty five dollars. Now if you get the thirty dollar ticket that means you're gonna be in that VIP section. Okay. We do have a VIP section. We were trying to sell a lot of those. Come on out. And about the ticket sale, if you have a group of about ten or more, you're gonna get a discount. Yeah, that's you have to hit us up and we'll take the discount. And we're hoping that we hope we go all around. We want a lot of churches group to come out and just have a good time on that Saturday night. Get bus loads. We want bus loads to come. That's we right. want them to come from all over to hit us up and just have a good time <laughs> on a Saturday night having fun listening to gospel music. That's right. And you have your opportunity to win a ticket tonight on the Lady T Show a little later on in the show. So we don't want you to miss that opportunity. But Miss Kiki Sheard, Kiara Kiki Sheard is going to be there on March 11th at the Kaheen Auditorium as well as some other local artists and groups. And it is going to be off the chain. This is going to be awesome, awesome event. So. Um, what are the goals for the funds that you will raise from this event? What What are your goals for those? But our main goal is to get out, get out, so we can open up one good house, and so we can get maybe six clients. We've been looking for houses, mm -hmm. you know. With the flood came in and took over a lot of the houses, so now we're out looking again. We're hoping that these funds will help us to get our start up. You know, mm -hmm. with nonprofit, you always got to go out and have your fundraisers and raise your money so you can do what you got to do. So I'm hoping that this this fundraiser this year will set us up, set us out and make it be happen. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can't attend this show, mm -hmm. you can still donate money to us. That's not a problem. You can donate five dollars, one dollar. Mm -hmm. You can call us up on those numbers, and we'll be glad to come accept your donations. And we'll um, have other things. We sent out flyers to different businesses this year mm -hmm. to just support us, and that was a hundred dollar donation that they could send. If you haven't, if some of you out there listening tonight and you haven't turned in your receipt. And mail it to us, please do. And um, we also have uh, we we have tried a donut sale, and I don't think we're doing that this year. But um, 
We've got um, sheets. You know how you say, I give the first dollar? Mm -hmm. We are having those sheets going around. So we're taking time out. We're raising money at all means, however cost it can take. Um, on yesterday, Rashida was out at Walmart in Greenville. Tarver. Oh, she was in Tarver at Walmart. Mm -hmm. She was in Tarver at Walmart. And she raised some funds just out there showing what our group was about. And I think she raised some money, so that was good. Every time we go out, because it's free, we just sit there, we're giving our time. If we come back in and we made $20, that's a blessing because it's going to help that's us build it. our house. That's right. So and I know it's not as easy as it has been in times past to secure grants and, and funding mm -hmm. along those lines. Is that something you all have considered? Have you tried oh, to get grants? Yes. Um, the um, Melinda Johnson, now she got all these degrees. She know how to do all that. Right. Okay. <laughs> She's on it. And she we want Melinda Johnson happen. to give us a call. Yes. Call Ms. Johnson and just <laughs> kind of say hi to us. Take a couple of minutes and, and let us know about um, your role in Equality for All Redemption House. 252-407-1111. 252-407-1111. So, so she's tried to write grants for the organization. And, and she's trying. And she's, we went to grant writing classes. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've been to grant writing classes. And she's been. And we got a lady to help us. We so said we're on that way that we're trying to get our grants and things. But you know, you got to get them. You know, you got all these Still got deadlines. Yeah, okay. You got you to gotta make things by deadline. Mm -hmm. Right. And I like the fact that even though you're waiting for a grant, you're still getting out there trying to get funding. The majority of those grants, that's what they want. They're going to ask you what have you done. Your budget. Yeah, your budget and what have mm -hmm. you raised and did in order for them to see that you are operating. And it, it looks like you guys are doing an exceptional and outstanding job. Outstanding. Try. <laughs> That's all you can do. That's you all you can do. There. There. You can try. There. How many people do you currently have in your organization? Eight. It is eight of us. Eight. eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. From all walks of life, we have um, Lester Johnson. He lives in Cary. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have um, Athea Swanson. She lives in Raleigh. Yeah, Raleigh. In Raleigh. Um, Hattie. Hattie lives in Green. What's Hattie last? Greenville. Name? I'm sorry, Hattie. Don't know your last name. <laughs> Hattie, Hattie, Hattie. Hattie. I'm sorry, Hattie. Hattie Mac Magay. She lives in Greenville. Um, we have Marie Goodlow. She's from Tarb. She lives in Rocky Mount, but she will work at Tarbor Social Services. Mm -hmm. We have Rashida that's here. We have Vicky Best that works at Tarbor Social Services. And um, Miss Sivia. Miss Sivia, and we have uh, Alice Thompson. And I can't think of the other person, but we have. Lots of ladies and gentlemen. We're not just sexes. We just try to, like we said, we're a for a quality redemption for all. So we try to help everyone. Mm -hmm. And we got people from all walks of life okay. that's trying to help us to put this together because they they say it's a need. Right. More than we do. Our social workers say it's a more need than, than what Melinda really saw. Is, right. yeah. Do it, you have clients? Do you all have clients now? Mm -hmm. We don't have a client now because we haven't got a house. And that's what we're trying to do. My, I'm hoping and I'm praying that I go before December Mm -hmm. of 2017 in that we will have our house, our house up, running, and operating efficiently. Wow, that's awesome. And I just got a message. Um, Ms. Rhonda Keene advises that you can reach out to the Small Business Center in the area that you're starting in. So you're looking at starting here in Rocky Mount, right? Mm -hmm. But I think you all mentioned you wanted to, to branch out mm -hmm. in national on a national level as well, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the, ball, the Small Business Center, that's why I've been going to classes at the Edgecombe Community College. And I've been mm -hmm. working with the lady there, and she knows that we're trying to do it. Melinda, um, she works in the evening and nighttime. So I've been to a lot of the classes they offer for the small businesses mm -hmm. and everything. And Melinda, see, she, she Melinda, uh, the CEO, she has a, uh, a social arts degree in psychology. She has a Bachelor of Science in Human Service Management. Mm -hmm. She has a Master's in Management with Concentration in Organizational Leadership. Mm -hmm. So we have a person that's got it all. That She's going to get did a medical billing and coding, professional certification. And she's in her last session of class now for another right. master's. So, so she has she has everything that your organization needs, needs, to, needs to function. Yeah. So yeah. that's awesome. And and I think God is putting you all in place mm -hmm. and setting you up for some wonderful, great things to come. So you just got to stay focused and stay encouraged. And we want to go ahead and give away this ticket. The time is ticked away. <laughs> so <laughs> we want to give away this ticket. If you would like to go to this second annual Gospel Explosion, Kiki Sheard, uh, Nicole Kofi, Feel the Golden Heirs, Glory to Glory, Genesis, My Ministry, and so many others yes. right here in our own neighborhoods, in our own back doors, this event will be taking place. 252 407 1111 is that number to call. 
Be the first caller and tell me the name of the song and the artist of this song and you will be the winner. So we're gonna give <laughs> we're gonna give you the I won't say how many seconds because sister's gonna get me, but we're gonna give you a piece of this appropriate. song. Appropriate. Doing appropriate. Lady, Lady, time. T, Lady T's tune. We're gonna give you this tune. And if you can tell me the title of the song and the artist, be the first caller, 252-407-1111. You will be the winner of the free ticket to the second annual Gospel Explosion featuring Kiara Sheard. Here is the tune. Did you hear it? <laughs> it happened just like that. <laughs> it don't make <laughs> He's he's working on it. I may have to hum it. Well, I'll be the winner of that one. Man. <laughs> you can't win it. That's an easy one. So I, I think my stage engineer dead, dead is space. is working on it. <laughs> Who's so the name wanna, of the artist? <laughs> but we wanna we wanna um five seconds. Okay. Okay, so we have a caller, <laughs> and I'm telling you guys, we we gave him a hint all during the show tonight. I was yeah, right. I did you know what it was. Lady T don't give a five seconds. We gotta turn it up a little bit louder. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Just I think somebody was starting the call, so let's let's give it to him again. <laughs> that was it. <gasps> Did y'all hear it? She knows what it is. 252-407-1111. 252-407-1111. Give us a call. We're going to play it one more time. Okay. We, we hope this person has it. I think it was easy. Okay. It was, it was easy. <laughs> is the phone working? It looks like they're trying to call, but the, well, let's, let's, let's give them another opportunity. Play it one more time, Lee. Not too much of it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. Well, we have a we have a caller, you guys. Um, we we're gonna give somebody else the opportunity <laughs> to get it. I, that was my um my marketing and pro promotions manager. He didn't know what the the song is, but um he didn't know what I was gonna play, but. We want to give somebody else a chance. A, a non-Lady T Show staff member, please, yes. preferably. So um, we want to thank you all for coming because you're, you're doing a wonderful, awesome event. And the organization, the purpose, everything is wonderful. So you're live on the Lady T Show. Do you have an answer for us? I do. This is Monica. Hi, how you doing? Signing you. Okay. This is Kiara Shell, incredible guy. Uh, indes <laughs> indescribable. Yay! Yeah, indescribable guy, yep. Thank you, Simonica. We appreciate you watching, sweetheart. I think I have your contact information. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Right, so we're out of time. We thank you all for coming. We want you to contact Equality for All Redemption House, 813-1806. You can also contact me, Lady T Show at gmail.com. We'll put you right in contact with them. Don't forget about this event. We've got to support each other. We've got to push each other, and we believe that they're coming up with this. They just got to keep their hands to the plow and, and keep their focus. want to thank Kingdom Empowerment Ministries Apostle Emma Dickens for sponsoring the show. Also, my marketing and pro promotions manager, Mr. Darvin Bullock. My show manager, Mr. Mark Armstrong. Set engineer, Lee Pritchett. Ms. Dazzler Cofield and Deborah Cofield for watching. My co-host, Sister. And also, Rashida Smith and Joanne Perkins for coming tonight. Thank you, guys, and we're going to continue to promote this and push this for you all. Thank you for watching. We'll be back to you on fourth Sunday. Have a blessed week.
Get to Badcock and stretch your refund with up to 50% off sofas, up to 50% off bedrooms, and up to 50% off mattress sets. Plus, get living room packages with TV starting at just $17.98, bedrooms starting at just $4.98, and 24 months interest-free with no credit refused. Badcock makes great style easy to afford. Enjoy Valentine's with the one you love and share a hot now Krispy Kreme donut. There's nothing like a heart-shaped donut made with love to show how much you care for the one you love. Are you just starting out on your own and want to be independent? Do you have a family and need a bigger home? Are the kids moving out? And are you downsizing? First Carolina Realty can help. A one or two bedroom apartment or house for those starting out. A three or four bedroom home for a growing family. Rentals, sales, new homes, pre-owned homes, investment property in the city or in the country. Call First Carolina Realty. Now is a good time to make that move. Real estate prices are right, interest rates are low, and there is a fantastic selection of homes available. First Carolina Realty is a fully licensed real estate firm with offices at 3151 Zebulon Road in Rocky Mount. If you have rental properties and are tired of the headaches associated with managing them yourself, or if you're looking for a new management team to manage your rental properties, call First Carolina Realty at 252-985-2321. Visit our webpage at firstcarolinarealty.com. We will gladly help you with all your real estate needs. You don't have to live with the pain and discomfort of carpal tunnel. Dr. Bloom and his orthopedic team can diagnose and treat you with a non-invasive surgical procedure that reduces recovery time. Randy Stewart is here for free carpal tunnel screenings to help you better understand the problems you may be having and how Dr. Bloom can help you. We are your family's orthopedic doctor and we can see you today. Call to set up your free screening at 937-2663 Bloom Orthopedic Center at 3101 Zebulon Road in Rocky Mount. We are not the owners of this property or the leaser. If we are fortunate enough to become the owners, then we would look into getting a new unit. And at that time, we are hoping that we can count on you. But reading this article, it sounds like 